Hi, welcome back to Graphic Island tutorial once again. Today we'll work out another logo design project for our customer. Let me select a customer order which is already booked and work out this project in this video. So this is a Graphic Island FB page where the customer comes and books their order. So here you can see 15 appointment requests are there for logo design. So I'll pick one of the customer order and we'll work out this. So today I'll work out this project. So these are the details shared by the customer. Uh, let me check out the details given by the customer. So here is the logo title. It is written the bengalfish.com. This is the logo title. And here is the tagline fresh and live. These are the two important thing and the third most important thing is logo description. So what is written in the logo description? This will help us to understand the business of the customer. I need a unique logo into a fish. It means the title is the bengalfish.com will show into the fish and the letter F must write by a fish also stylist. If the letter B can possible written by fish. So what does it mean? The customer wants that his initial letter for Bengal B and uh, F for fish means B and F should be made in such a way that the logo should look like a fish. And here is the color preferences blue, black, red, optional your choice but blue color be there you can add of add other color also. So he recommended the blue color must be there the other colors is up to me. And here is the business details what the business is about. It's an online e-commerce business will sell all types of fishes like seafood, live fish, sweet water fishes, door to door. You can say fish specialist and also fish easily sell. They are fishes to us and we we sell the products is platform to from the fish farmer directly to us we can sell our product directly farmer to customer so these are the details given by the customer and other than this what else these should not be the greater in size in the text and he added the reference logo here so we got the description and uh, i'll write it here and we'll continue I'm really excited to work out this project because it's all about fish business. And here is my aquarium with lots of fishes. So here first I'll write the logo title. The Bengalfish.com Tagline Fresh and live. So according to the descriptions, the customer wants the logo should be made using the initial letter of B and F. So here we'll write B and F. Now the logo should be made in a shape of fish. So this will be the initial fish shape. And here I'll write the color preferences. So especially he focus on blue. Research is very important while developing a new logo, especially for the client. This research can help us to grab idea from the existing logo. After completion of logo design research, now we can start sketching. As the customer needs, the alphabet should be in the form of the fish. So here we can make F the front, the face of the fish and B we can make the tail. So if we make the F like this, and 
and instead of making it in a straight what I'll do here I'll make it like this like this way so this is the F and here I'll make the eye of the fish now we need to fit B in such a way that it can make fin or the tail of the fish so if I make it like this way so this will form a B so instead of making the straight line here for the B what I'll do I'll make it like a tail here now let me take the sketch to the computer and there we'll reconstruct it more nicely. Here we bought our sketch to the software. The first step I'll do the rotation of this sketch and place it in such a way that this angle should be at the top so that we can distribute elements uniformly on both the sides and keep this logo with full balance. So I'll select this sketch and from here I'll do the rotation like this so here I kept this angle at the top and I'll take this one here now I'll select this one and go to object from here I lock this sketch so that it will not do any movement or any disturbance while we reconstruct this logo now by taking this zoom tool I'll zoom in because I need only this portion while recreating it now from the toolbar select this pen tool remove this fill color and select outline color and choose an outline color from here increase the outline stroke so that it would be more visible when we draw a straight line by using shift key draw a straight line here this straight line will act as an axis or in other word you can say this will act as a mirror now from the toolbar select this rectangular tool and here draw a square using shift alt key and drag it now rotate it using shift key and bring this one here now take ellipse tool and here draw a circle using shift alt key bring this one here now select this one select this reflect tool using alt key drag the center point of the circle to the axis select vertical copy select this one and this one let me drag it down using shift alt key now take pen tool and here draw a straight line using shift key select them and let's increase the stroke from here we need little more thicker in size now it is perfect now go to object and expand it after expanding take the shape builder tool press alt key on your keyboard and delete this portion take pen tool again and here draw a straight line from here to here now select this using shape builder tool using alt key delete it take this straight line little down up to here select this one and this one using shape builder tool again and alt key delete this portion Here also we'll delete this extended part. Now take this pen tool 
and let's create the tail from here from here to here select this one take reflect tool using alt key drag the center point to the center and leave it here select this vertical copy now we don't need this one delete it now take ellipse tool using shift alt key drag a circle here select this one go to edit copy edit paste in place and drag it down using shift alt key take this one little this side using arrow key on your keyboard let's change the color for this now select this one go to edit copy edit paste in place and drag it down using shift alt key now select this and this from here click on minus front so this is the initial structure we have drawn now we'll do some modifications before we jump into the modification let me select this one and this one and, and unite it from here even select this 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 and this and make a single shape by uniting now i can remove this original sketch from the background so i'll go to object and from here unlock the image and i'll drag it from the background and remove it now from the toolbar select this pan tool and from here let's draw a shape select this one do right click on your mouse and send this one to back using pan tool here we'll create another shape from here to here and send this one to back now select this one and reflect it to the other side using alt key just drag the center point and place at the axis copy now select this one edit copy edit paste in place drag it using shift key change the color send this one to back now select this one the customer needs blue in color so from here we'll choose the blue color then we can make it more blue like this can fix the color select this one and choose color we can take very dark blue select this one and transfer the color for this one we'll choose green color after submission of logo to the customer here you can see the customer feedback let me zoom in thank you i am very grateful for your hard work you did very well and unique logo outstanding service hope you understand the complete process of logo design from start to the finish and here i am abul mansur see you in next video have a nice day